hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Jini shalom in case you're seeing me for the very first time so this kenya protest is not only happening in kenya it's having a ripple effect all over africa in fact it has gotten out of hand a lot of nigerians a lot of africans they have been reacting on kenya protest kenya protest there's no way you will go you hear about kenya protest they've only been seeing it online they've only been seeing how the kenyan genesis are taking over how the president is literally granting all their requests a lot of maybe Ken kenya police chief being fired the cabinet being dissolved people calling for the mps to be dissolved and in another set of mps to be nominated to be elected other africans that are just seen all over there that in fact a kenyan senator also went viral in nigeria like two kenyan senators now i did a video on one and nigerians have been watching with their eyes like this it's just like seeing a small child maybe you have two siblings now and your younger one is even taller than you that you there's nothing you can sit down just to be looking at him or uh, up up like this that is how nigeria the situation that nigeria is right now they have said they have decided that Kenyans lead others follow. Kenya is a new giant of Africa by emulating them. In fact, do you know what is happening right now in Nigeria? They have declared a nationwide protest. All the young people, they have declared a nationwide protest. In fact, it is beyond, they have said, okay, these Kenyans are making waves. This revolution is going on in Kenya. And even we, we are even worse off than Kenya. We are worse off. Our there's bad governance, there's corruption. In fact, and Nigeria is very rich, but there are so many poor people here. The gap between the rich and the poor is so wild. And Nigerians have said that they will not fold their hands to see the president just behaving like a dasical, as if nothing is happening. If you see inflation in this country, the things that we are buying for ten naira before naira is Nigerian currency is now hundred naira almost 100 percent or something like that 1000 percent and nigerians have said since kenyan genesis can do this that we too we are capable and they have declared nationwide 10 days protest starting from august 1 in fact some people have even started the protest now but the main one that the youth and the kenyans um the youth and the Gen Z said they are going to be involved in they have taken a venue they have placard everything they they want to start with online social media i think that was how kenyans also started so they are emulating what kenyans are doing you know i've been praising kenyans i've been uh, being inspired by them i don't know that the revolution is coming to nigeria do you also know that there's a protest happening in gambia pre presently even in ghana all the young peoples have been warning the MPs. There was an MP that spent $40 million on nothing. And they have been warning that if they don't want a repetition of what happened in Kenya, that Kenya, that the Gen Z's entered the parliament and started beating their MPs, that they should be where and they should be warned. But Nigeria said the, our own is more than warning now. Our own is even more than warning. There's also a very influential man in Nigeria. He's an online personality, not that he's very popular like that. But everybody, if you have instagram twitter or facebook on in a nigerian community in nigerian space you will know him they call him very dark man he, he has been advocating for this protest so he released a memo on how the protest is going to go but the nigerian gen z said we are not we are not going to be we are going to be leaderless we are going to be tribeless we are going to be re religious like, because once protests start in nigeria like that is it that they bring in goons talks to come and scatter is it that they start forming group then they will say this is our leader this is our leader then the president will meet with the leader then they will bribe some people and that is how the author will just scatter and stuff like that but this time around we are saying we are going to be following the textbook textbook rule of how kenyans did it and this very dark man released a memo about this because i know it is important and i know that this information will reach everybody because papa mama everybody did for us today do you understand now there are dates that have been released for nationwide protests do you understand because of the hardship and the suffering that is going on in this country right now there's date for 29th of this month which is july and there's fifth for next month as you can see now uh we have to come out as people of nigeria to stand up and tell the government that enough is enough do you understand because the hardship and suffering is too much and the government are not doing anything about it it's almost as if they are looking at us as fools as sheep. do you understand and we can no longer fold our hands and just keep quiet take the take take take, take the uh, example of a fries look at look at the price of bag of rice the price of bag of rice is 100k how much is minimum wage check price of basket of tomato how much is minimum wage every other thing is going up but the minimum wage the the, the salaries are still there 35,000 naira, 25,000 naira. do you understand the one that is even paying me pass is the price of fuel because if the price of fuel goes down today everything automatically crashes 
Do you understand? Price of oil is how much? It was initially 200 and something. Do you understand? When this administration came in, and now they took it to 500 and something. That 500 and something now, they said it was going to be permanent price. They even shared prices of things for the whole state in Nigeria of oil. Now, it don't come up from the price where they tell us. It don't they go 700 and something. And minimum wage is still there. So there's a need to all of us come out to tell the government that no. I've heard you for yourself. The hashtag for the protest is Ed, end bad governance 2024. Tinubu must go. It's just something like Ruto. It's just like we are just copying you guys. But I just hope that this protest is as successful. Even if it's as 50% as successful as Kenya protest, Nigerians will be okay because enough is enough in Nigeria. A lot of suffering, economic hardship, the gap between the rich and the poor is just getting wider and wider by the day. Unlike Gen Z's in Kenya that have 14 requests, I think these people, um, I think Nigerian young people, they have like 8 or 10 requests. I have it here, but I don't want this video to be too long. I just want you guys to know that there's also a protest that is going to be coming in in Nigerian community. And you know that Nigeria, we have population. Even if Americans, uh, Switzerland, everywhere, UN, OAU, they are going to be involved in this present one. I saw that Kenyan Gen Z's, they have started writing letters to OAU and UN to fire uh, Ruto from the uh, from the from their midst, and that to take. And they also wrote to International Court of Justice that they should take Ruto to court, and also the Kenya police chief. After he has been, after the Kenya police chief has resigned, though, there, there are some set of Kenya people that wrote to uh, IUG International Court of Justice should take him to court and sh it should be tried for the short uh, for the death of many peaceful protesters for the death of many victims. I hope Nigeria's own will not be as bloody as that. I hope it's just successful. But I'm here to tell you that there's and bad governance hashtag and bad governance 2024 currently going on in nigeria now if you go to instagram just type hashtag and bad governance in nigeria and come and see nigerian youth and hunger and bad governance and the tinubu must go that is what is trending now people they, they want to start from online then they have brought out the venue the protocol and how they are going to do it is going to be so organized because we are seeing it's just it's just like kenyans lead others follow right now so if people are saying that kenya is a new giant of africa i'm not going to even argue because it's because we are inspired by you guys and i'm so happy that this is taking place please wish us best of luck if you are seeing this video and you wish nigeria to be better you know that if nigeria is better in this africa the other countries they are just they will just automatically adjust because if the most populous country in the on the continent is having sense or something like that other people other small, small smaller nations will be inspired but you can see that it's kenya that started this ripple effect in fact i didn't even know that it would get to this point if you are seeing this video please type best of luck nigerians best of luck nigerians in the comment section so that people will be ginger young people are afraid because you have already held something like that before and it was not successful but you want to try again hashtag end bad governance write best of luck write hashtag end bad governance in nigeria 2024 write to numbu must go under the comment section if you are seeing this video and uh and uh, uh, i hope it's successful thank you so much for watching and i see you guys in my next video